What's up, YouTube followers? I'm proud that I can even say that I have followers. I've got 100 plus subscribers, which I am pumped about. So, you know, just keep following, hit that subscribe button below, and there will be more. There will be more. So, this week, the challenge is to throw as far as I can off the tee pad, you know, forwards, so I can use the tee pad the way it was meant to be used, and then try to save par from there. Uh, people say that pitch and putt courses do not make anybody better at disc golf, and this is one of the ways I think you can make it harder. You know, if, if you think you're not learning anything, then think outside the box, do something crazy, and uh, see what happens. So, I don't know. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. So, thanks for watching. All right. Thanks, Past Jake, for that nice introduction. Here we go. Let's see if I can keep up with this do it in one take hole one there's a bunch of trees and a restoration area behind the basket so i actually have to try to throw really far left that's a big old hyzer 350 plus feet right into the trees got a pitch out of there throw a nice forehand ah oh, that was horrible um so we leave him leaving myself a putt here on an easy upshot banged it taking a three Hole two, I got plenty of room to work with. I wanted to hit this gap here, flex through the trees, nailed it. That went really far because there's a hill back there and you won't be able to see basically any of this. My upshot's gonna kind of skitter up to that big tree there, if you see it there on the right. But I have this long putt for three. I threw it so far. There was no way I was going to save the three here without a really good upshot, which I did not come through with. So here's a big long putt for, ooh, oh no, not going in. So we already got a four. This throw, really low, doesn't look good, but it actually clears the hill. All right, so I still haven't finished editing that video. And this is a good time to uh, give some context. So that's the T sign. So that's the T sign that I kind of threw right at, but then it came all the way down here, past this basket, and into these trees down here, where it's just no no bueno. I think I was even back there by those all those thorny things. That sucked. And so saving a three, it's not even this basket. It's this basket I'm gonna have to walk I was over. I'm trying to throw a roller because there's this low ceiling, but then I have to get back up that hill. I was just talking about basket over there I end up way down here look at this you can't even see the basket I have to go up a hill after getting through here I'm going roller and uh, oh boy not yeah. even getting it down we're gonna have to try this again probably could have thrown an air shot from where I was on the second lie but I was committed to the roller get it down but it went too far left I'm only halfway up the hill here I'm gonna have to save my four. So uphill putt, about 30 feet, getting friendly with that tree there. See if I can convert for the four, not even close. So taking a five on a 100 or 206 foot hole. Hole four, trying to go for the giant Anheuser, not gonna do it, coming way out. <laughs> Ian said it best, tombstone at the end. It's throwing up through the trees, AVRX3, clearly very happy about the shot, parked it, made a, a hard lie into a three, was pretty proud of that one, that hole's already hard, but I know I could throw it farther off the tee. This hole I really have nothing to work with, so I decided I was going to try to throw back up to up the hill to that other hole that I was at when I was throwing rollers. So I launch a big old hyzer out here. I don't know even where it's gonna go. It gets swallowed by the trees and I'm putting for birdie. So, I mean, didn't really feel good not getting a good drive off the pad, but converted there for a birdie. So, you know, it's hard to say that that's an eagle because I didn't get it far enough away from that basket, I don't think, on my drive. So, hole six, lining up. Got plenty of room to bomb one here and 
I'm really happy with this one. That's the one you saw at the beginning. I think you overshot it a little bit. Yeah, overshot it. So, throwing my nice easy up uh, way out to the right. That was not good. Left myself a long putt. Air ball, roll away. Ooh, yikes. This is uh, 185 feet or something like that. Yeah, I made it look hard. This, hole seven, the only real way to go is up the path here, so I just line up and bang it. I was so stoked with that. And then, oh, and then the skip at the end was just brutal. I just threw, like, that had to be 425, 450. I'm way up that path, so I got to line up a forehand out of the trees here. Um, I was really, really happy with that drive. I'm glad I got a good view of where this disc is because I don't know if I'm going to be able to out, out drive that. I'm going to start doing that now and try to get farther than that. Wow. But way misjudged my upshot through it way past the basket or way short of the basket kind of relative to the tee pad so missed my three you know take four so onto the uphill hole it's already kind of long with the uphill and i'm gonna uh oh Ooh, i thought that was gonna go in that would have been so epic not a good job throwing far got another putt for a two so work to do off the tee pad if i want to make this into a par four don't count it could have thrown a lot farther but hole nine uh, basically my only option is to try to go right at hole six's basket which i'm doing right there that looks pretty good whoa crazy anti-skip wow so i mean all i can say is i did not expect this to be as hard as it was and it was really hard um, my score was a lot over par compared to my eight under that i shoot on the regular pitch and putt but i challenge you guys to go try it out hit those comments have you ever done something like this you know uh let me know challenge me to some more stuff to try out at memorial park hit the comments hit the like button i'll see you guys next week Thank you so much for watching. Jake Leputka, signing out.